So now in this video, we're going to talk about uh, batteries. We're going to look at a single battery, batteries connected in series, batteries connected in parallel, and uh, series parallel connections right there. So to begin with, we're going to discuss the uh, 9 volt alkaline battery. So typically they're alkaline battery, especially if they're actually 9 volt. Unfortunately, if you use uh, other chemistries, 9 volt batteries usually come out to a uh, different voltage, but they'll still call them 9 volts. They hope that uh, the uh, battery will work uh, just as well. So it may or may not. But in any case, we can uh, call this a single supply as well. Generally, you don't really call it a single supply unless you're comparing it to a dual or split supply. We'll come back to that. But in any case, the uh, 9 volt battery, we got uh, the negative terminal. We usually call that uh, ground 0 volts because we need a voltage difference across components to uh, get uh, work done. And so this is the easiest way uh, earlier scientists uh, came up with to uh, look at that voltage difference. You can consider ground zero volts and the positive supply positive nine volts if it's a nine volt battery right there. So we got nine volts to work with, probably enough to uh, handle uh, most basic electronic circuits. If we need more voltage though, then what we can do is uh, take two batteries, connect them in series. So we got positive of one to negative of the other one. Only do that while they're in series. Don't do that with a, a single battery, directly positive to negative. If you connect uh, positive to negative directly, you will have current flowing that uh, is almost unlimited. It's actually limited by how well the uh, chemistry within the battery can move current. But in any case, battery is going to get hot. If the battery can provide enough current, metal may vaporize or something. You may be able to injure yourself if it's a big enough and strong enough battery. Luckily, alkaline batteries probably will just get hot and uh, discharge, but uh, you don't know for sure. So, in any case, don't uh, short circuit one battery, but you can connect the positive of one to the negative of the other as long as at both ends you either have an opening or a load limiting current based on the uh, voltage. So in any case, the voltages add up. So that's great. Now, whatever current you provide though, notice that uh, the current going through a load coming back to the batteries also has to go through the two batteries right there. So each battery is providing current. Let's say each one of these batteries is 500 milliamps, which I think is actually relatively close for a nine volt alkaline battery. But in any case, I don't know for sure. But in any case, let's say they're both uh, 500 milliamps of current. You're still going to be able to provide 500 milliamps of current. But now, instead of it being at 9 volts, it's 18 volts. So maybe you can light uh, two series LEDs with a single battery at 9 volts. With uh, 18 volts, you could light uh, four series LEDs. And uh, the same brightness for the same amount of time. So you got twice as many LEDs in series lit up for the same amount of time. So the current is whatever the uh, lowest uh, value battery can provide. So you want to use equal uh, batteries. And uh, that's the uh, current you'll get through the uh, two of them right there. So use equal value cells. That's the main thing. Now there's another thing you can do with uh, series batteries. So this comes, uh, this is important in a couple of ways. There are integrated circuits that uh, the output either sinks or sources current. So ultimately, what you do, you have ground. In relationship to ground, you have a positive voltage for when you want the ground to sink current. So you consider current coming more positive to more negative. That's just how early scientists imagine current flowed right there. So we still talk about it that way. The main thing is we got zero volts and a positive nine volt difference. Uh, so the voltage difference moves current. Over here we got uh, this battery. So now this battery, you can see in relationship to ground now, we have a negative voltage right there. So current, if you look at it the same way, would flow uh, this way right there. Through the load, uh, out of uh, ground I should say, through the load, and then back into negative right there. So now ground is the source of current when you analyze it that way. Of course, now we know that electrons actually flow more negative to a more positive. So when you look at the chemistry of electronics, that's actually what you're going to study because that's actually what atoms are doing. 
but they used to think that current flowed positive to negative. So we still talk about it that way because that's how we analyze the circuits. That's how we monitor the voltage difference for the most part. But now we can have a negative voltage in relationship to ground if we want, or we can just have the uh, total voltage. Another thing is, let's say these are rechargeable batteries. You want to uh, monitor that uh, when you charge them to nine volts, I mean 18 volts total, you wanna make sure one battery has nine volts across it, the other battery has nine volts across it. So even if you're using the 18 volts uh, total, when it comes to uh, charging them, you want to uh, monitor that each one of them is the same voltage right there. Otherwise, that one might be 10 volts, that one might be eight volts, and uh, so that one might be overcharged, might destroy the battery if it's a rechargeable battery. So in any case, normally alkalines aren't, but uh, the principles for rechargeable batteries uh, work the same as what I just explained. So now we have the other option. We can connect them in parallel right there. So I got positive of one to the other, negative of one to the other. So they must be the same voltage when connected. You wanna use uh, two completely brand new batteries if they're nine volt batteries or that have been used the same amount of time which means they'll have the same voltage across them. Maybe they're eight volts when you connect them or something. But you want them to be the same voltage. That's gonna be the voltage that they provide to a load, whatever the voltage of the two of them are. If one of them has a higher voltage, the other one a lower voltage, the higher voltage one is gonna charge the lower voltage one, which is especially bad for non-rechargeable batteries. And uh, even if they are rechargeable batteries, that may be high current that flows. So you still want to get them close to uh, equal voltage. But in any case, the uh, benefit to this now is that uh, whatever current the load use, some of it will come from one battery, some of it will come from the other. If they're completely equal batteries, it'll be an equal amount of current from each one of them that uh, they are providing for the load, again, at the voltage of uh, each one of them. And uh, so only nine volts now instead of 18, even though there's two batteries. But it can provide current for twice as long. So the same circuit will last twice as long before power runs out. That's the benefit of parallel. So we can also get uh, the best of both worlds there by connecting the batteries in a series parallel right here. And so we don't absolutely need this connection here, but uh, it's a good idea to, to have that. So we have, uh, the two in series that we saw before, also these two in series, as you can see there. So we end up with 18 volts uh, total, but those two series circuits are also in parallel. So we got that one there, that one there. So each one of them is providing about half of the current. So now they don't always uh, come completely equal and whatnot. So it's still a good idea to uh, tap into that point there, connect those two uh, points right there. So that uh, just in case uh, that happens to be a little bit more powerful, it can store more charge than that one, and that one can store a little bit more charge than that one or whatnot, it helps distribute uh, the work uh, a bit better. So it's easier to keep them balanced if you have that connection there. So that may be a little confusing, I'm not going to dwell on that too much, but in uh, any case, we could have uh, 18 volts or, as I said before, we can look at it if we want uh, ground with a positive and a negative voltage or, especially with rechargeable batteries, you definitely want to monitor the voltage of each one of these uh, parallel connections because their voltage is going to stay the same as long as you have that connection. They'll, they'll have the same voltage, those two. Those two will have the same voltage, but maybe the voltage will drift. Uh, where these get lower or higher than those. And uh, so they may become uneven, and uh, that's why there's balancing uh, circuitry. You can uh, buy that. It'll make sure that uh, if you have 18 volts total, nine of it is across that point there, and nine of it is across that point there. So that's uh, very important. Uh, but in any case, that's uh, the most uh, you really need to know about series and parallel connections when it comes to uh, batteries. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. If you can donate, please do. I have links down below. But otherwise, I appreciate that you watched the whole video. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.